The arts sector in Australia is facing a crisis of survival. The cost of living in Australia is high and rising, making it harder for young artists to pursue their passion and contribute to the cultural diversity of the nation. According to a report by the Australia Council, young Australians under 35 and adults with children are feeling the squeeze of financial pressures, attending fewer arts events and hunting for more freebies. They are also the least likely to attend arts events as cost of living bites. The high cost of living also affects the education costs for aspiring artists. The tuition fees for some arts courses have doubled in 2020, while fees for STEM courses have fallen. This creates a disincentive for students to choose arts degrees, which are seen as less valuable and less employable in the current economy. The student contribution for a three-year humanities degree would jump from up to $20,400 to $43,500, while law and commerce degrees could increase from $34,000 to $43,500. The student contribution will be reduced by 62% for those studying agriculture and maths. The lack of support and funding for the arts sector impacts the quality and diversity of cultural production in Australia. Without adequate resources and opportunities, young artists struggle to develop their skills, showcase their work and reach wider audiences. The arts sector also suffers from a loss of talent and innovation, as many young artists are forced to abandon their dreams or move overseas. The cultural landscape of Australia becomes less vibrant, less diverse and less representative of the diverse voices and experiences of Australians. The arts sector is not only a source of entertainment and enjoyment, but also a driver of social and economic benefits. The arts sector contributes to the well-being, identity, and creativity of individuals and communities. It also generates jobs, income and tourism for the country. According to a report by the Bureau of Communications and Arts Research, the cultural and creative sector contributed $111.7 billion to Australia's economy in 2016-17. The arts sector also plays a vital role in promoting Australia's soft power and reputation in the world. Therefore, it is essential that the arts sector receives more support and funding from the government, the private sector and the public. Investing in the arts sector is investing in the future of Australia. It is investing in the young artists who have the potential to enrich our culture, challenge our perspectives and inspire our imagination. The arts are not just a luxury or a hobby. They are a vital part of our society and our economy, and they deserve more recognition and investment from the government and the public. In this section, I will explain how the arts can contribute to social and economic well-being and why they are essential for our future. First, let's look at the social benefits of the arts. The arts can enhance our mental health, our sense of belonging, our cultural identity and our civic engagement. According to a national survey by the Australia Council, 84% of Australians agree that the arts have a positive impact on their lives and their communities. The arts can help us express ourselves, connect with others, cope with stress, learn new skills and celebrate diversity. The arts can also foster social cohesion by bridging cultural gaps, challenging stereotypes and promoting mutual understanding. For example, First Nations arts are a powerful way of preserving and sharing the rich and diverse cultures of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. First Nations arts can also improve the well-being of First Nations artists and communities by providing income, employment, recognition and empowerment. At an age when many Australians are retiring, First Nations artists are contributing to the arts economy, with those aged 65 plus the most likely to be earning income from First Nations arts. Second, let's look at the economic benefits of the arts. The arts are a significant driver of innovation, productivity, tourism and education. The arts generate income, jobs, exports and tax revenues for Australia. According to the Australian Bureau of Statistics, the cultural and creative sector contributed nearly $112 billion to Australia's economy in 2016-17, which is 6.4% of GDP. The sector also employed more than 195,000 Australians in 2016-17, to 
which is four times as many as coal mining and as many as the finance industry. The arts can also attract visitors, both domestic and international, who spend money on tickets, accommodation, food and other services. The arts can also enhance the reputation and attractiveness of Australia as a destination for tourism, trade and investment. The arts can also support education by developing creative thinking, problem-solving and communication skills that are essential for the future workforce. In conclusion, the arts are not only a source of joy and inspiration for millions of Australians, but also a key contributor to our social and economic well-being. The arts can help us recover from the impact of COVID-19 by boosting our mental health, our social connection and our consumer confidence. The arts can also help us prepare for the future by fostering innovation, productivity and education. Therefore, the arts deserve more recognition and investment from the government and the public to ensure their sustainability and growth.